Hey guys, welcome back to Webshanks Tutorials. Um, today I will be showing you how to create a functional WordPress website in a stay control panel. So to do that, you have um, one domain name. We will add that domain name in a stay control panel and point that domain to our um, server IP address and install um, our WordPress website. So let's get going. Um, first, let me show you uh, the packages first. So as you can see, the package here. Let's go to packages. There are two default. Uh, so that this is the default, which has unlimited uh, disk space, bandwidth, and web domains, and so on and so forth. So the system is actually um, limited to one um, web domains. So if you want to create your own package, just click add package here, but we'll just use default package. Uh, let's go back. Uh, first, we'll just add a user. Um, we we'll, uh, need to add a separate user because um, that what suggests on this say panel. Okay, this one. This is your administrator. Um, account and this is its um, host name if you want to add a web um, domain name it, it actually prompts this security um, disk but if you want to continue and uh, you're confident that you will secure your history control panel just click continue and you can add your domain name and create then dns and enable mail but for this tutorial let's go back to users we'll add a user uh, for just a security reason uh, for this let's try this username okay let's try this tap or Okay, password. Let's um, generate password. Be sure to copy this one. And that's it. We'll use the default, not the system. And click save. Okay, let's go back to um, users. So now we have a um, uh, user here. Uh, this is the new standard user. Just click this one. Okay, we will add a, a, a web domain. Okay, let's add instance production. Okay, we'll just share the store. This is so be sure to create um the zone and enable mail for this domain and click save. Okay, let's go back. Now we have a, a new uh, web domain here. Just click this one. And um, let's install first. Let's install first uh, our WordPress application. Just scroll down and you will see WordPress here. Click setup. Let's say, yeah, okay, that's it. Let's um, say hello to store. Okay, let's um, generate. Be sure to copy and paste this and store it in a secure place. And by default, um, since we have not installed multiple PHP, PHP version, we will be using 8.1. And that's it. Just leave this auto and click save. OK, 
Okay, now it's um, installed. Let's go back. Let's install an SSL for this, but first we will add an A record to our domain register. Uh, let's point uh, that domain to this IP address. Uh, let's go to our domain register. I am using Namecheap here. Uh, first thing you need to uh, choose this basic DNS from Namecheap. If you have custom DNS, just um, click it here. But we will be using basic DNS. Um, let's go to advanced DNS. Okay, we will remove these two um, records first. Okay, yes. 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 Okay, and let's create a new A record. So host at an IP address. Use this IP address. Paste it here. Um, choose automatic and click save changes. Next, we'll create an A record for W. Same IP address. We'll click save. Okay, that's it. Um, we will um, try to install SSL. And by the way, it will take uh, 24 hours to fully propagate um, your DNS. So if, we, if you are um, issuing SSL and it will uh, prompt an error, um, just wait for at least 24 hours to propagate. So let's check first if our DNS is already propagated. Let's go to this website. Let's input our chunks store. Okay, it's um, propagating. Okay, let's go back and try to install HTTPS so we will use this um, let's encrypt and click here um, to ensure that we will be using uh, HTTPS at all times and click this as well and let's um, click save Okay, it will take time to install um, SSL certificates. Okay, finally it's um, installed and let's um, access our um, WordPress. Access our WordPress. Okay, the admin paste opsis paste the password here click login okay um, now we have successfully installed um, a wordpress um, let's try to add theme okay let's add new and let's try cadence Activate. We'll be using uh, standard starter templates. Okay, we'll be using FB. If you want to go premium, you can install this, but we'll um, try free.
we can okay let's try this just keep and start avoiding Okay, it's finished. Let's click view your, your site. Okay, this is our first blog in the state of a drop panel. Okay, that's it. This is how you will create a functional WordPress website in a state of a panel. Be sure you properly configured your um, state drop panel. You have properly installed this one on, on and manage um, VPS or if you have dedicated. So that's it. If you have any questions, um, comment them, them down below and I'll try to answer them. So um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.